Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're in Plano, Texas, headed into High Street Antiques. We're gonna look for jewelry and purses, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell, click all, so you don't miss out on live buy nows and auctions on my channel. Those are pop-ups. Subscribe to the channel and hit a thumbs up for this video. So I've been in here before. No guarantees of finding anything, but that's like any thrift store. So if you're new to the channel, I do thrift daily. Hit estate sales, garage sales, Goodwills, thrift stores, antique stores, all kinds of things. So let's go see what we can find. May even find some Christmas gifts. Who knew? So there's going to be all kinds of things in here. And various price points. Lots of different unique setups. If you're ever looking for clocks, grandfather clocks, this place has a ton. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know how many square feet this place is, but I'm get I'm guessing it's probably sixteen thousand or so. I am guessing probably 16,000 square feet or more, maybe 20. These are super cute. 85. I'm looking for some greenery for the center of my table for Christmas. They also have a tea room in here. And that tea room is packed right now. Definitely gonna have lots of glassware, which I love that. This will be a nice card holder. This is 285. Serve as a lamp and a business card holder. But yeah, this is a beautiful store and you're likely to knock something over. <laughs> oh, you got to walk around carefully because there's so much stuff everywhere. Look at this amazing bar setup. This beautiful piece is $1,799. They already have it ready. With your glassware. Those goblets are 89 I love the old china cabinets, love them so much. Look at all this. Not in here necessarily to think that I'm gonna find anything to pick up for resale, but you just never know. Look at that bookshelf there. But yeah, this place here, if you're looking for anything in particular, you will probably find it. You will probably find it. Vintage looking cookie tins for Christmas. See what I'm talking about? It's packed, absolutely packed, full of all kinds of goodness. They're gonna have jewelry. They're just gonna have everything here. So much so you just have to make a trip down here to Plano, Texas. Look how far down that aisle is, look at that. One of the largest antique malls in the Dallas area. So Plano, in case you're not from here, is a suburb of Dallas. Look at that lamp. How much is this lamp? Oh wow, $3.99. I figured it would have been more than that.
and look at this grandfather clock. Look at the detail. This one's $2,500. And then look at all these lamps. I'd like to be the one that is getting to hunt all of these lamps and clocks and cabinets. I just can't believe how beautiful it all is. This one's 250. Aren't those so grand? Here's one with dragonflies on it. How much is this one? $2.99. So when I was in here before, this vendor did not have this many stained glass lamps. Wouldn't that be fun just to have one whole room of stained glass lamps? Look how pretty that is. 300 To me, that's a great deal. I love it. This one's 800. And this is, I love this one too. Some more dragonflies. I think it's the year of the bees. Honestly, look at that. They're just everywhere. And the honey almond soap. Look at this little trinket. Oh my gosh. I think there's a fad going on with this right here. Do you see a lot of pictures? that will have bubble gum, like oil paintings and things on them. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it must be the new thing. This smells wonderful. Take a whiff of that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Trinket boxes. Lots of little what naughty do daddy stuff here. If you are ever in the Dallas area, I can guarantee you Plano, Texas, McKinney, Texas, Richardson, Texas, you're going to find some of the greatest antique stores ever. So this could possibly be a destination for flea markets. We also have some of the greatest malls in the Dallas area. If you still like to go to a mall, North Park, Galleria, but I like my old stuff. I do. I absolutely do.
looks like a very old vintage Santa Claus. This bone necklace that is huge. It smells so good over here too. I guess it's all of this stuff right here. Oh my gosh. I've never had any of these before, the little houses that you can light up. Maybe I should start collecting them. I have no idea what the pendant is on this necklace. Look at this. Let's show you up close. Have y'all ever seen anything like that? That looks like a lock, like a key to a lock. This box here is solid, but that is one heavy duty necklace and pendant. Let's see if we can zoom in on this side too. Look at that. It's just different. I don't know what that is. But you can kind of see like the point there. And then look at this one here. This is beautiful too. Love that also. Ooh, look at this one. Look at that. I don't know if that's bone carved or what that is. And look at the scroll work on the side of it. So again, I don't know if that's bone or shell or what. That's a very detailed ring. Very nice. So that was a nice ring. We're going to pass on it though. If you've ever seen a ring like that before, let me know because I've just never seen one like that. I don't know if it was bone. Look at all these purses. Oh, wow. And all this jewelry. Oh my gosh, look at these. I have that same bracelet. And then look at all these great purses here. Lots of alligator. Look at that one. Love the snake skin. Oh wow, 369. So I've sold this same bag for a lot less. I'm not even sure I want to say how much less. This one right back here is $799. What does it say on there? What is it going to zoom in? So Vassar 1950s. Good looking bag. Y'all let me know if that's worth $800. Here's a Fendi. Another Fendi. Wow. 
Anaguchi. How awesome are those? Nineteen fifties Gucci. And then what are these down here? I don't know, but there's a lot of alligator print for sure. And more over here. What is this one? It just says brown alligator bag by Lesco. Ellie, or let's see. Yeah, Lesco, $270. Let's see these amber bracelets right here? Sold that before. Those are gorgeous. Tammy will appreciate seeing this. $98. I sold mine for a lot less. I certainly did. This booth owner has exquisite taste. For sure. And look at all these bracelets. So definitely lots of pricey designer handbags there, Fendi. Lots of furs, Fendi and furs. What is this? Come the I like that. It's nearly time to decorate for Christmas. Matter of fact, it is time. I love when you see the food stuff. To me, it reminds me of a flea market. What are these sourdough bread? I have not made sourdough bread in a while. Chili cheddar bread. That looks good. Apple fritter bread. Yum, yum, yum. Maybe we should get some of those. Yeah, pretty. What is the brand on these? Nachman. Those are gorgeous. Lots of them, too. And more stained glass lamps. And a spotted oil painting I love. Not this one, although it's nice. Just wait for it. Just wait for it as we meander down through these stained glass lamps. Wow, look at this old vintage bar set here. 1895, early French antiques, can you imagine? And this is the one I'm talking about right here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
and that is sold. Oh wow, look at these, $25. 25 each. I love those. Aren't those so pretty? My gosh. Well, this one's 25. These other two are 45. I don't know why. What is this necklace here? That's a beautiful necklace. Look at this bracelet. And this turquoise necklace. And look at that cameo. Absolutely love this bracelet. Look at that one. This vendor has a lot of unique things also. Love that jewelry. Trinket boxes. Oh, look at these. Look at that cute butterfly necklace. Look at this. Looks like it's glass. Love this old cabinet. Get all this jewelry. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be here for a minute. Oh wow, I love that bracelet. If y'all love that bracelet too, comment below and let me know. That is something else. Not sure what the price of it is. This is probably one of my most favorite bracelets I've ever seen. We'll probably check on the price on that in just a bit. Perfume bottles, beautiful brooches, look at these, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the one right there in the center, the blue one.
look at this one right here in the center. I don't know what this is. If it's made out of stone or acrylic. Look at that one. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And you're right, it doesn't really need to be vacuumed. So that I can get down on my hands and knees and pick up. I'll do that. Not really. Look at this humongous ring right here. A sterling and turquoise trinket box. <laughs> and look at this squash blossom here. That is Topaz. Oh my gosh, there's one of my favorite bracelets ever. Wait for this. Looks like a double snake head. Look at this one right here, the red one. I'll show you at top too. Up top so you can see it. Now this booth right here has amazing jewelry. Lots of it. And that purse has sold for $150. So I saw this and I don't want to miss it or skip it, but look at this tooled leather. Although this says Veracruz on it, I think that this tooled leather bag is awesome. It looks like it could be a crossbody. And it could be a crossbody. This is beautiful. I think we're going to get it. Here's the back of it. So yeah, although it says Veracruz, I don't mind. I love it. So a main open compartment. That's what it's got. And then this pocket right here. Let's see if this pocket buckles. So oh, it does. It buckles with that. Okay. It's a beautiful vintage crossbody bag. It's probably about 8, 10 inches tall, 12 inches wide. Good size. Loving this necklace right here. May have to check on that one also. Look how pretty that is. It's not just pretty, it's unusual.
gigantic. I want to see the detail. Look at this. Forty dollars. What is this? Coffee liquor truck decanter. So this is a decanter, but that is just cute. Just kind of find all kinds of things in here. Fourteen. These are really nice for eighteen dollars. These. Champagne flutes are only 14 each, aren't they gorgeous? More glassware. I love this cut glass. Love the colored cut glass. Multicolored. Now this will make a beautiful desk or dining table. Look at that. I don't think they'll ship. They might. So if any of y'all are from out of state and you see anything in here, I don't know if they ship or not. You just have to call the store. But it's... Just look up the name of the store at the beginning of the video. Because they might ship if they can find it. This is just such a huge place. I'm going to ask them how many square feet it is. Uranium glass. Ain't that something? Lots of Pyrex, too. So if you're a Pyrex connoisseur, this might be the place for you. I'm going to try to go down to some in downtown Dallas today, too. Not sure if we will. And lots more jewelry, too. Look at this. Wow. I'm still kind of Christmas shopping also. I think I've had this bracelet right here before, similar to it. Lots of amber. Wow. It's definitely way more expensive than what I sell. Huh. It's always interesting to see people's take on different items and how much they sell for. But antique stores are usually a little bit higher. Look at all that amber. And look at this mermaid pendant. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. 
dragonfly. This bracelet's 150 here. And another huge aisle. dollars each they're all different too those are really nice twelve dollars each you've been here for hours hours this video won't even show you all of it won't even show you everything there's no way Eight hundred fifty dollars or nine hundred fifty, and then look at this one right here for three hundred. Here's the base of it. That is the top chair that I would buy for sure. It's just skinny enough to put in a corner. Lots of cabinets. This is only $30, look at that. Chinese cinnabar vase. Oh wow, look at that amethyst. No, I thought about it. Painted Italian tile. Look at this. And wait till you see the holder on the back, how they did it. Look at this. Love it. Just not sure I need it. So purple, I've been told that purple glass is hard to find. And this is a small picture. And then you have this piece right here. Look at this. I think those are purple. They look purple to me. Not sure if it's missing the lid or not. You know, if that had honeybees on it, I would get it. Not kidding. I bet they have 15 aisles down through here. I spy purses. We're going to take a look at them. Look at this. 
Axe, a Dooney. 70. This looks like a fossil. It is. It's a fossil for 40. I love this sign. Look at that. It's not old, but it looks old. Watch out for the skateboards. So this tooled leather purse right here is what I'm, I had my eyeball on. It's quite a bit of detail to it. Stitching and everything. And look here at the front of it. So look at this. I love it. Can this be a crossbody? No, it's a shoulder. That's okay. It's one open compartment. If y'all think I should get this, comment below and let me know and you may sit on the next cell here in Texas. This is pretty big here. The chain on it. And look at this little kiss lock coin purse snake. That's very nice too. Uh oh. It's a gar. Redfish is what they call it. That looks to me more like a gar. Love that. This has lots of purses in it, hand in hand with fashion and brooches and jewelry. I mean, you could turn every corner. Bright and light pink purse, it says. Sixty five on that picture. Isn't he cute? That is cute for twenty dollars. Wow. That was the cutest thing. That's pretty awesome for somebody, I guess, if they're allergic to pets. It smells good, and we must be getting close to the cafe back here. Oh wow, this picture is like seven feet tall. Well, there's a goblet. 
I found all ten of the goblets that I need for Christmas. I did that at Canton. Well, I found the last two at Canton. I think it was the last two. So if you or your husband's interested in taxidermy, this is a hundred dollars. Wow. Oh, I thought the bear was one seventy nine. I think it's probably more than that. Bear is not for sale. Well, not yet. I'm still thinking. But and then something like this, would I just take it to the front if I want it? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that's your? So it might be Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Tory Richards is Nineteen ninety five Brighton Purse. That's a cute bucket bag. Wow, it is. Look at this bead, beaded back here. So, Italian bucket bag. Never heard of this brand before. I'll show you up close. Maybe y'all have. Kate Landry. What is this one here? Knock everything over. Ooh, look at that one. That could be a crossbody or a shoulder. That's classy. These are all hung up, so we're just trying to look at them. So if you hear all the noise of people talking if you hear everybody, a lot of talking going on. Um, that is the cafe. The cafe. That is an unusual chain around it. Let's see, what else do we have here? What is this little guy? So I've really thoroughly enjoyed this antique mall. I've been here before. Not sure if I've ever video videoed it for you guys, you ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. $79. But I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up for the video. Click that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on live buy it nows and auctions of purses and jewelry on my channel i love this but i think that's not for sale i do believe that's probably the name of the booth my bad and if you want to do something that helps my channel out and it's free to you watch those ads as they come up on all of the videos so watch out for daily videos of thrifting, estate sales, garage sales, antique stores, thrift stores, anywhere and everywhere we can find something to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. I did buy a few things in here and you will see that on a future 
sales show. So until next time, thank y'all so much and have a good week. Bye.